hello you're welcome back all right so here we're going to be looking at the characteristics of wave all right now wave has the following characteristics all wave okay can undergo reflection refraction diffraction interference and polarization so we'll be discussing these five characteristics of a wave so starting with a ref reflection of a wave okay now reflection this is the bouncing of a wave back to the medium as it encounters an obstacle so a wave actually reflects when it, it actually encounters an obstacle in its path of propagation all right um i can actually illustrate that now ref reflection is actually is common to light uh wave basically common to light wave but uh, in terms of wave i'll discuss what happens when you have a wave okay a progressive wave that that was coming from a source coming from a source okay get to a point where it's probably it hits an obstacle it returns it pans back to the medium okay so that's reflection but in terms of light okay light being an electromagnetic wave can be represented by a ray so a ray is an obstacle and that's called an incident ray it returns back to the medium as a reflectant ray so this is a phenomenon known as reflection of a wave so in this case it's a reflection of light so that's one characteristics now the next characteristic is refraction now refraction is the change in direction of a wave as it passes from one medium to another now this is due to the difference in the velocities of the wave in the two medium okay when a ray is refracted as it enters a medium its velocity and wavelength changes but the frequency remains the same so anytime a wave move from one medium to another let's just uh take okay as an instance a wave moving from from a a being a medium all right okay a less dense medium then it now enters into water so this is a uh, this water let's let this medium be water all right and of course this ray of light was passing through a okay this is a immediately it enters into water medium it's actually change direction it bends so that change in direction of that wave is what is known as refraction now you notice that this actually happened why because the two medium have different densities so that way the velocity of of the light okay varies in the two medium let's say the velocity of light in, in a is v1 and the velocity of the of of the light in the water is v2 so discover that um we already know that velocity is always equal to wavelength multiplied by frequency so for air the velocity v1 is going to be equal to lambda 1 multiplied by frequency f for the medium which is water the velocity is going to be equal to lambda 2 then multiplied by the frequency f so it is called that both velocity and wavelength actually changes in the two medium but the frequency remains the same okay so frequency never change even when the wave undergoes refraction all right so let's look at the the next characteristics the next characteristic is diffraction of a wave now diffraction is the spreading of a wave as it passes through a minute aperture or a tiny opening right okay so if you have a tiny opening a tiny opening that a wave passes through okay so let's say this is the wave and of course 
the wave front passes through the turning opening. As it passes through it, it spreads. Okay. So that is why if you actually say something through a window, someone outside, okay, will be able to hear you. Why? Because as the sound passes through the window or any tiny opening, okay, it actually spreads. It spreads out, and that is diffraction. That is diffraction. All right, the next is um interference. Now, interference is the overlapping or superposition of wave, superposition of identical wave of nearly equal frequency. Okay, so when you find two identical wave being released, okay, to the same medium, for example, air. Okay, of course you know that we have what is known as free to air, where um radio or electromagnetic wave is actually released as signal. Okay into the air to be received now if you happen that this wave that is released to the to air okay is of equal nearly equal frequency or equal frequency or even nearly equal frequency there's this tendency that they will overlap so their overlapping can either be constructive or destructive okay so let's say i have wave a with a with a phase angle of uh, zero having be released to a medium now it's coming to interact overlap with another wave wave b okay with b of course of the same frequency but let's say of somehow a higher amplitude a higher amplitude okay so when these two waves actually combine because of the fact that they are of the same phase difference they start from the origin okay so the phase difference between a and b is equal so when two of them overlap they will add so they'll add they'll add up and that's why you call such interference overlapping constructive constructive interference why because the combined wave now will become the addition of the two wave the two wave will actually overlap so you see the two wave will overlap so the one with uh, the small amplitude overlap with the one okay so this is the combination of the with a with b constructive interference and that happens when the crest of with a actually coincide with the crest of with b and the same, the same with their trough their trough actually coincides but a situation where the wave A and wave B, okay, is 180 degrees out of phase. The phase difference of wave A and wave B here is just zero, okay? They are zero degree out of phase. But a situation where I have uh, wave B, okay, B 180 degrees out of phase. Let's look at something of this nature. Wave B is actually starting at this. Uh, Okay. Okay, so Okay, something of this nature. So once this interference actually occurs, it will lead to a destructive interference. Why? Because with A and with B, we actually subtract or cancel each other if they have equal amplitude. So what you have as a resulting wave, okay, will be more like a stationary wave. Will look like a stationary wave, okay? So this is one wave, 
while the other one is opposite so wave a is opposite each other so once that once there's an interference such interference becomes destructive interference so destructive all right let's proceed the last but not the least okay characteristic is polarization plane polarization what is plane polarization plane polarization is a process of causing a wave to vibrate in just one plane now plane polarization only occurs in transverse wave because it's only in transverse wave that you have the medium and the vibrating particles being perpendicular to each other okay or that with both the medium and the vibrating particle are in the same plane all right so you can polarize it so you can only polarize wave in which the medium and the vibrating particles are perpendicular and that is only transverse wave okay so now polarizer a device that is used to to plane polarize a wave example is a polaroid so a polaroid is a polarizer what does it do okay look at what it does now this example illustrates what a polarizer does and how we can plane polarize a wave so i have a wave here that have different plane as you can see here vertical and horizontal it's a non-polarized wave then i pass it through a polarizer a polarizer having just one plane okay it's like a filter so what it does is that as i pass this wave through this polarizer it will cancel the horizontal the horizontal vibration the horizontal plane of the wave and only allow the vertical plane so initially this wave is unpolarized but as i pass it through a polaroid filter it becomes a polarized uh, uh light okay and the, basically i told you that uh, uh, transverse wave a uh, wave that actually undergo polarization and we know that all the electromagnetic wave are transverse waves so that is why polarization is common with light wave okay light being uh, an electromagnetic wave so these are the different classification of wave okay do well to go through them one more time then we will continue in the next video all right see you in the next video thank you very much